Her customer gasped, but Nancy bade her a fire friendly farewell and set off boldly up the lane, thinking what a beautiful evening it was and how much she was looking forward to sharing a meal with her husband. However, the pixies that overheard Nancy's words and decided enough was enough to claim that they even if this was a, just a plain rule. How dare she? It's time to teach that. Nancy never a lesson, said the head. Pixie in a half. Let's prove to her once and for all that we exist. As the first jet twinkled in the sky, Nancy was startled by the nose up ahead. It sounded like hundreds of high pitched boys chatting and making commotion. There must be a party, she thought, but she couldn't imagine why anyone could throw a party in the middle of the moon. As she grew nearer, the hula bulu get louder. So Nancy reached a huge crowd of tiny people, who were just no taller than her knee. They were wearing colorful jackets and tall hats made from flower petals. Nancy was wide-eyed with surprise. She could see they were pixies and teens concentrating hard on clambering on top of each other's shoulders. They were making a giant pixie pyramid. Just as the head pixie reached the very top of the pyramid, they noticed Nancy standing there. Going up at them, there were so many pixies that the pyramid towered above her head. Nancy couldn't believe her eyes. The head pixie looked down at her and said, How do we believe we exist, Nancy Neville? For once, Nancy was too shocked to speak. So she nodded her head. A moment later, the pyramid was gone and the pixies had skipped away. As the head pixie disappeared from view, he called, you don't have to see to believe, Nancy. Nancy ran all the way home to her husband and never again tutted at or mocked the pixies. But she knew not to be scared of them too.